So we have ourselves first contact. Been here for 30 seconds. This site is a, uh, it's not a new permission. We've had this permission now for over a year, but we haven't had a chance to come to this particular spot where there was a homestead. Uh, we've been busy on the other properties, but today's opportunity knocked as far as the weather is concerned and the, uh, and the ground conditions today. So we decided to come and give this to try today and actually swing it. Now, from the old maps, I've determined that there was an old house here. And as soon as we walked onto the field, we've seen all the uh, brick and pottery. House has probably been gone since the 40s. So we're probably going to be anticipating finding a lot of modern day, well, fairly modern day garbage. I mean, you're gonna, we're probably going to find some conduits, some piping, and maybe some electrical conduits, considering that this place probably had electricity. But anyways, my first contact, which, is, which isn't a bad one, came up as a coin signal, kind of, but it ends up being a button. So, you know, I'll take a button as a first contact, especially an old button. There's no pattern on it or anything like that, it's just a flat button. But nevertheless, the button is a very good start. So it's a, uh, I'm happy about that. First contact to be a button, fantastic. Just a second hole that uh, I dug out our new location, our new old location, and I found myself a crittlebell. Nice little guy. Uh, unfortunately, where is it? Oh, it's got just the slightest little nick out of it. Uh, it wasn't me, just say it. Don't be jumping to any conclusions, you guys. And so there it is. So, yeah. Pretty happy with that. So what we're dealing with today at this site particularly is there's a lot of trash because the house was torn down recently, like within the last 40 years. This place is, we will definitely have to come back when the ground is drier. We're probably gonna stick around for maybe another hour or so, and we're gonna to wanna to go to one of our older sites so that we're not digging up so much trash. I, you know, I, I don't mind digging trash, but on a day like today where we haven't gotten out in a while, I want to dig as many old targets as possible without having to dig up too many aluminum pieces and copper and conduit and things like that. Um, so the other uh, target that I just got now, which rang out really loud, gave me a 47 on the E-Track. 47 generally could be a silver target too, so I was pretty, I was either excited or thinking that it was going to be something like higher trash, like something like uh, stainless steel or whatever, but it wasn't, not even close. It's a nice buckle. Look at that. That's a beauty. And uh, it's one of those brass. It's definitely made of brass or copper. Um, it rang out like a banshee. Here, I'll let you. I'll let you listen to what it sounded like. Can you hear how high that is? Crazy high. So yeah, another uh, nice relic. Pretty much after the turn of the century, they started making these a lot of out, out of iron. Not so much copper and brass, because copper and brass during the war times was becoming a commodity. So they tended to start making things out of iron afterwards, for a little while anyways. But uh, there we go, nice little copper, uh, sorry, nice little brass buckle. Beauty. And as you can see, Ted's in the background over there. He's almost in the muck. How's it going over there, Ted? I'm chasing a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> Signal comes in, it's great, then it goes away, then it, it disappears, then it shows up again. Jason a unicorn. Hey, why not? Unicorns are very rare, you know? Bet you get a pretty penny for a unicorn. Well, gotta find the unicorn first before you can sell it. Just if it's, see if I find it. Alright, so in the background, uh, Ted is stealing my dry spot. I called him over to, to uh, try a signal here. It was down at it was down at nine inches. It was a good signal on the E-Track. Uh, he picked it up on his detector after lowering his discrimination on the uh, AT Pro. And uh, it's a coin, but like I said, I was pretty certain that this place came down after the 40s. And sure enough, I ended up getting a uh, King George from the 40s penny down at nine inches. And then that old button. So there's still gonna be some old coins here, but they're gonna be mixed in with some fairly newer type of uh, 
artifacts, you know, from the 40s and up. Um, probably from not much further than the 40s though, maybe from like 1950. Because I think that this place must have came down probably in the 50s. But uh, yeah, this is an early Georgie too, it's a 1939. So an early 1939 Georgie. First coin, first coin contact at this location. Let's hope for more. Found this thing rang out like heck. Might be a thing for plumbing from the toilet or something. All right, so I'm finally on board with a uh, what looks like a coin. Uh, let's see what this is. Yep, definitely. Looks like a token. I can see a little bit of detail. Let me flip it over. Get the dirt off. There you go. Yeah, there's not much detail left on it. I have to get it cleaned up and uh, show you later. I can see a little, at least I might be able to get a, an identification off of it, but for now, it's not much. It's pretty, uh, pretty slick, but nevertheless a token, so it's a good start. Hopefully we can get some more. <laughs> 